Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here. So today uh, I'm going to review the pilot episode from my favorite TV series, The Incredible Hulk, with, starring Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno. Okay, it started off with the opening text on, that are white on a black screen, and in the quotation says, Within each of us soft times there dwells a mighty and raging f fury. And we get to see Laura and David and Laura Banner because they're in the car and because you may remember Laura Banner played by Laura Parker who did Dark Shadows, The Fall Guy, and Battlestar Galactica, the 1978 series. Anyway, so let's get back to the, the pilot episode. So they're driving in the car, all romanticism, but the tire has popped, something went wrong. The car has tumbled over from the road into the grass side. And then David Banner had jumped out of the car. You know, David Banner is played by Bill Bixby. You remember, remember him on The Apple Dumpling Gang, My Favorite Martian, The Magician, and The Courtship of Eddie's Father. And also on The Andy Griffith Show. And then he had to rescue Laura Banner from the burning car. He woke up. It was his nightmare. And then he drives to the Culver Institute. We get to see David Banner met... Elena Marks, played by Susan Sullivan, who is on Dharma and Greg. They were at the Culver Institute, which is located on in the exterior at the Cal Arts, which is California Institute of the Arts in Valencia. And they get to interview people first with Mrs. Mayer and her son BJ, you know, played by Eric Dion and Susan Batson. And when they were they were get to interviewing Mrs. Mayer how she was driving to Columbus, Ohio to see her sister and then because it was filmed and, you see, and Susan Mayer rescued her son from the burning car it was filmed on Magic Mountain Parkway and she has lifted got the strength to lift the car because her son was alive and it traumatizes David Banner's and it reminds David Banner uh, that he that he had to rescue Laura Banner because she was dead. And then he was saying every other case, it was been researched in the same story. And which has got to him. And then they interview other people that are got the strength, what it comes from. Starting with Mrs. Epstein, played by Joe Whitney Taylor, who did The Lone Ranger and Little House in the Prairie. And then Mr. Bram, played by Mario Gallo, who was on The Untouchables, Columbo, and Raging Bull with Martin D De Niro. And however, and then David Banner has met Jack McGee from the National Register, played by Jack Colvin, who you may remember him on The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean, The Six Million Dollar Man, Rooster Cogburn with John Wayne. And you may remember him on a horror movie with Brad Dourif, Child's Play, and then... David Banner said to Jack McGee, saying, Your newspaper is the only interested reporting is in murder, rape, horoscopes, and UFOs. So they had a study that the, the, the blood structures on the people who are the strongest. They had. And then Elena Marks told David Banner, When is the last time you had your DNA? And then he said it was impossible. And then he had to borrow the the paper structure after he told Ben he could borrow for a while, and he's like, "Sure, be my guest." And then studied Mr. Mrs. Mayer's blood structure, Mrs. Epstein's, and Mr. Bram's. And then he had to call Elena Marks on the phone, but there was no answer. So instead, he overdosed himself with three hundred thousand gamma gamma ray units. And then he tried to lift something. That looks like a hospital bed that was located in this St. Joseph Medical Center thing, which is across from the Disney Studios in Burbank. And then he went home. It was raining. He had a flat tire. He had to get those tool things to get the tire. Something causes him. And then yeah, so he, he the, it causes him to turn into the Incredible Hulk because he bent the, the jack thing. He smashes the car, the Hulk smashes the car, and 
he rips the tire out of the car and he throws it and then he thrashes it with the car. And because the Hulk growls are voiced by Ted Cassidy, who had <laughs> lurched himself from the Adams family, who did the voice for the Incredible Hulk roars. Which we'll get to that moment. When I... Anyway, so he flips the car over, the car blows up, it was raining, and then he walked off into the woods, and then he, he sees the girl at the lake, he looks at her, the girl saw the Hulk behind her. That references Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, where he meets the girl at the lake. And then the girl got scared, she got in the boat, and then she fell into the water. The Hulk tried to rescue the girl, but before the Hulk looks at the tree part to rescue the girl, that was a one-shot scene, which it was Richard Keel. They did the whole sequence with Lou. They already did it with, Dick, with Richard Keel. The man at the lake shot the Hulk with a gun. The Hulk gets all angry, and he breaks the gun in half, and he throws him 30 yards in the lake, because it was filmed at the... The old Fox Lake at the old Fox Ranch, which is now State Park in Malibu, which is where they filmed Planet of the Apes set, was around the corner. And also the set from MASH, and also Kenneth Johnson did some stuff from Bionic Woman there. The Hulk throat knocks the tent over. He took off running. He looks at the reflection, because there was a bullet wound. The reflection's between him and then David Banner. He went back to Elena Marks saying they must have had the bite a bullet. She told him who shot him and he said, I don't know and then he and then Elena Marks said, We're gonna get you to a hospital. And he's like, Well wait, wait, I'm okay. Elena, please, I cannot go to the hospital because it might be dangerous. And then he told her that he was driving home and um, he had a flat tire and he said it was morning, he was standing in the woods there was something, something else, something awful. Because he was saying, I remember feeling incredibly strong. And then they went to the Culver Institute, the Southwest Laboratory, which is at the rock, at the College of the Can nearby the College of the Canyons. And then they had to study how the David Banner's blood structure thing. And then he fell asleep after he tried to create a rainstorm thing in the laboratory, but was a waste of one hour, but then he wokes up his nightmare, he turns into the Hulk, he smashes the, the, the chamber in the laboratory, and Elena Marks had to get a blood sample from the Hulk, and then the Hulk turns back to David Banner, and they had to learn to study about the creatures, like, Elena Mark saying it's the creature's like it's primitive and it's like a childish subhuman. And he's like, but what makes me physically change? And then they met the, the highway patrol officer and Jack McGee has the, the footprint of the Hulk, which is down by the lake. Which is that footprint that was used in the Bionic Woman from the Bigfoot episodes. That, and then he explained that, saying there's the girl and the father at the lake who said they saw the Hulk. Because, and then Elena Marks and David Banner went to the laboratory saying they gotta keep on searching to how David Banner could be normal again. And David, David Banner saying he wants to be Dr. Banner, not Dr. Jekyll. And... Jack McGee notices something inside the laboratory that the Hulk, that was the aftermath, and then they try to use the X-ray pressure, but, which try to get him normal, but it didn't. And we see Jack McGee went into the Southwest laboratory, and what we see is he grabs a big chunk of glass that he notices that was the aftermath, and then he went back into the storage thing, and then David Banner and Lena Marks came back in there. And then they, they needed some EG paper. And then Dave Banner opens the door. It was Jack McGee and it accidentally knocks the jug, the jug, the the jug of some gasoline thing in there. And he and did, he asked him, saying, 
that David Banner knows something about the big hul hulking creature that has been attacking people, saying it was a big wet footprint. And then Elena Marks told him it's a water spill. David Banner had to escort Jack McGee out of the laboratory. And then he told him that the Institute's private property, but he wants to know anything about the creature. And is David Banner responsible to report it to the police? But he said he doesn't know what creature or what he was talking about. And then he said, Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And then Elena Marks sees something. She yells out David's name. The laboratory blows up with the explosion. And then David Banner had tried to rescue Elena Marks, but it was fire. And then he turned into the Hulk. The Hulk rescued David uh, Elena Marks he, out of the laboratory. We see the footages from the Bionic Woman episode from the Doomsday's Tomorrow Part 2 episode, which is the Doomsday episode, which was directed by Kenneth Johnson earlier. And Jack McGee notices the Hulk. It's the Hulk. And then... Elena Marks dies. The Hulk roars after Elena Marks said that she loved him at that area where the flat tire had occurred originally. And the Hulk walks off into the woods after he did a big howl of a roar. And then at the Inglewood Cemetery, Jack McGee told Dr. Ben, saying he saw what the creature did to a steel a chamber. And I heard your friends talking. They were scared to death, but it was coming back. He said, you actually saw the thing? You damn right did. Because he wants to, to put all the newspaper heads up about the Hulk. Was responsible for the murders of Dr. Elena Marks and David Banner. And David Banner came to see Elena Marks' grave. And she said that he loved her. And then he walked off into the cemetery. And we hear the Lonely Man theme song playing at the end of the pilot episode. Well, that's it for my review today on my Incredible Hulk pilot review. So, hope you like to comment, rate, subscribe, favor, put the comment section below. Follow me on Ruroni K95 on YouTube. Keep it otaku for anime update and anime and manga update video, Ruronis. And that's it. <laughs>